plea. Now, of course, Louise, you, many people on the left were saying anyone who supported this referendum uh, were bigots. You know, that was the painting. Uh, Washington Post headline, racist undercurrent alleged in U.K. vote to this to EU. How are they wrong? Yeah, well, the Washington Post has truly embarrassed itself over its coverage. Uh, the data shows that the Muslim community, the Pakistani community, very much voted to leave the EU. And the fact is it's working people of all races, all ethnicities that were voting to leave the EU. This was not an anti-immigrant in general vote. This was a vote against untrammeled immigration, open door policy from the EU. We want kind of fair immigration and good trade with everybody, not to limit us to the little bureaucrats right. across the channel. You know, I read in a Lord Ascraft poll that said uh, that the people who voted to leave, 81% uh, didn't think multiculturalism was good, 80% didn't like the immigration policies, uh, feminism, 74% didn't like that. So is there any connection at all with those sort of things, or was the overarching theme just controlling our borders and controlling our own sovereignty? I think, well, many people have come back and said to different pollsters that the issue for them was primarily sovereignty and not immigration. And I got to say to you, Charles, that before we say this pollster says this and this pollster said that, the pollsters failed disastrously to predict Brexit. They said it was going to be remain by 10 points. So I think you really shouldn't necessarily... I didn't see that poll. I know most polls had it remain, but I didn't see 10 points. But you're Populous. right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's... Uh, we